Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna be checking out the Vertex Boost with volume expression. You know, I never thought I'd be excited about a boost pedal, uh, but lately I've just been loving this. It's solved a lot of problems for me. I've spent a lot of my time in the worship uh, music kind of industry and spent years and probably hundreds and thousands of hours swelling and making the ambient landscapes that we all know we have to do in that world. And uh, using volume pedals, I always ran into the problem of they either killed my tone, which I didn't love, or I didn't like how they felt. And so when I found a volume pedal that I liked, it was normally that I liked how the sweep felt, but I didn't love what it was doing to my signal chain, or I found one that I felt was great for the signal chain, but I, I didn't love the way it, it feels or felt when I would do swelling. So Mason at Vertex came up with this boost pedal that I'm with expression, with volume expression, that I'm really excited about. It has an input and an output, and then it also has uh, an expression out, which you can plug a TRS cable to. And then you can you essentially run that out to a volume pedal. And from what I understand, I'm not overly technical, so I'm gonna try to be c concise, but it essentially turns your guitar signal into a low impedance signal that you send out to your volume pedal. And then from there, it comes back through the same TRS cable right into here. And it restores it to, uh, I guess, a high impedance signal or whatever it's doing it. It essentially isolates it from your signal chain. And it's the only thing I've found that I can plug an Ernie Ball uh, volume pedal into, and I do not lose any tone. It's not uh, overly buffering it, where in some cases I've seen people put buffers before or after in the pedal trying to fix the tone loss. And it would fix the tone loss, but it would it would add something else to the sound, whatever the buffer was doing. Somehow, however, the, the volume boost uh, expression pedal is working inside here, it doesn't change my tone at all. It's like not even having it in the loop, which is kind of groundbreaking. That's why I was like, I never thought I would be really excited about a boost pedal. And obviously it, the boost itself is an amazing clean boost. It's, it's probably one of my favorites, but combining that with the volume expression function, it actually allows me to have my volume pedal off my board, running one TRS cable to it. And then if a volume pedal string breaks or I, you know, I don't take it with me and I borrow one, I can literally throw any volume pedal, you know, in that TRS cable without affecting my signal chain at all, which has allowed me to lighten up my board because I can keep the volume pedal off to the side. And another kind of cool feature with the internal dip switches is you can have it so that um, when a volume pedal is plugged into it, it's functioning as a volume pedal. But then when you turn the boost on, you're actually still getting an additional boost. So it's dual functioning. Um, or uh, I've been messing around with this a little bit myself. You can change it so when the pedal is off, it's not running through your volume pedal at all. But when, then when you engage the boost, it's engaging the boost and the volume pedal at the same time, which has been really helpful for me. A lot of times, you know, you're swelling at a low dynamic with more of a clean tone. So being able to kick on the boost and have it activate your volume pedal while giving you enough volume so that you don't have to go to the full uh, extent of this volume pedal sweep to get enough volume to kind of create the ambient spaces is great. So it just, for a pedal with one knob, it just has so many features that I found really helpful. So I'm really excited about it. We're gonna just, uh, I'm gonna essentially just sit here and play some ambient stuff for you, just to kind of show you how I use it uh, in conjunction with the volume pedal. Thanks for checking it out. Hey guys, just gonna give you a run through of how I'm using the Vertex Boost pedal. I have mine hooked up um, after my drive section on my pedal board. And as you can see, I have it set the way I'm running mine is so that even with the boost pedal off, it's still functioning as my volume pedal. As you can see, I have the uh, TRS cable coming out over here, hooked up to my Ernie Ball Jr. And so this is my volume pedal. And then I have it set for, I don't know, probably like a eight decibel boost that I can still kick on uh, when I'm doing clean tones so that I don't have to go to the full sweep of the volume pedal. I can kind of stay in that sweet spot right about here. And it also works great for solo boosts. So that's kind of how I'm using it. Uh, let's let's check out how it sounds. Yeah. 